What are these two women up to? The one sleeping on top taps the one sleeping below. She sits up and the woman calls her to lie down on top. And we observe that it is not with her, but in her place, for the woman gets up cautiously and gives her the place. She lies down and covers herself. There is a man on the bed. What is happening here? The man didn't notice anything and just hugged her from behind. I wonder why they did that. She seems to be hiding and afraid of being noticed, which is strange, since she was the one who lay next to him. From outside, we see that the woman is getting out of there, on the motorcycle of another man. The next day, the man wakes up from his heavy sleep and gets out of bed. The place keeps an eye on his movements, but he has no idea that he slept with one woman and woke up with another. At the same moment, the woman seems to have returned and is climbing the stairs with great apprehension. Holding her shoes in her hand, she hopes not to be discovered. The man finds it strange that the woman is still under cover and calls her, saying that it is already 6 in the morning. Aren't you going to get up? He inquires and she says she has cramps, altering her voice as much as possible. He says he will take a shower and get ready, otherwise, he will be late for work. And then he goes into the bathroom. Downstairs, the woman is desperate, because the man is coming down the stairs. She decides to hide behind the sofa and he comes into the living room, all dressed up. He sits down on the sofa to fix his shoes and then says, Honey, I'll be right there, heading upstairs. Without getting an answer, he decides to go upstairs and check on his beloved. He goes upstairs and his wife comes out from behind the sofa. Then she is on the stairs, while the man has just returned to their room. Baby, I have to go to work, but I didn't want to leave without at least giving you a quick kiss, look at me, he says and she simply answers she's dirty. He says it's just a kiss, but doesn't insist saying he will leave then. Before he left, he couldn't help but notice the empty bed and asked, what about your friend? Wasn't she here? I need to go to the bathroom, she answers, getting up and lifting the blanket with her, so she could cover herself. He finds the situation strange, but says nothing. Outside, she finds the other woman and covers her up, passing the blanket to her. The man leaves the room and goes to the bathroom. He knocks on the door and she comes out, asking him what is wrong. The man says that if she is not feeling well, they should go to the hospital. She says that won't be necessary and further explains that her friend is in the next room, since he was asking about her. He says he just wanted to know if everything was okay with her and finally says goodbye to his wife. He goes downstairs and the woman breathes a sigh of relief. The friend opens the bedroom door and says, Friend, your husband almost found out. I had a rough time inside the bedroom. The woman reassures her saying that he will never find out anything. Furthermore, she says that she is in love with her lover and that she will go out with him again. The friend says that what she does to her partner is very unfair, since he is a loving and honest man. The woman says she is his best friend and she needs to help her, just one more time. The friend asks how much she will get for this and the woman is indignant, because she feels extorted. The friend explains that the risks she takes are huge, so it has to be worth it. Okay, this is all I have, says the woman, handing her the money. The friend takes the money and accepts the proposal. The woman leaves carrying the blanket. The next day, history repeats itself. But this time, he pulls back the blanket and finds that her friend is in bed with him. He is startled and asks where his wife is. She asks him to calm down and says she can explain. Meanwhile, downstairs, his wife is entering the house, but this time, accompanied. The couple kisses passionately. Where is she? He insists and she asks him to sit down so they can talk. He sits down, saying that he doesn't understand anything. Meanwhile, the man who is with her downstairs asks her if she is sure of what she is doing. She says yes, claiming that it will be more exciting. But she hears the conversation and asks him to wait a moment. The man says that her husband must have woken up. She agrees and says he is in the bedroom with her friend. 
this is our chance to be together, the lover says, but she says he cannot find out the truth. Then she decides to go upstairs and her lover goes after her. She moves closer to the door, so she can hear what they are talking about. I think it is very wrong, what she is doing to you, says the friend, running her hand down his leg. He says he is confused and asks for explanations. I think you deserve a much better woman than her, she continues, now with her hand in his arms. She assumes she likes him and the boy seems to respond by kissing her hand. They then kiss and she asks, does that mean you will leave her and we will be together? Before he can answer, she declares that her friend has a lover and that every night she puts her in her place and goes out with him. He says he doesn't understand why she is doing this, since they haven't touched each other in ages. Why doesn't she break up with me instead of playing these games? He questions and says he will be with her, as long as she tells him everything that is going on. Her lover insists that she go away with him, instead of listening to conversations behind the door. She says that he is her husband, which outrages the boy, who is certainly in love with her. I have fun with you, but he pays my bills. Do you really think I'm going to leave him to be with a poor guy like you? She says, and he refutes, saying that he can afford her. She says he doesn't know what he's talking about and asks him to be quiet so she can hear what they are saying. Inside, the friend is saying, just dump her and stay with me. But she is interrupted by the woman, who opens the door, claps her hands, and says, that's nice. Ha, huh, is that the kind of friend I have? The man gets up and the woman says he is a coward. And you, I put you inside my house and you do this, she says to the friend. The man says she's too much of a cheapskate and at this moment the lover enters the room, saying that they better assume they are together. Are you crazy? Get out of here, she says and her husband is furious that she had the audacity to bring her lover into their home. The woman says that is not what he is thinking and throws the man out. Despite her pleading, the man says she won't have to explain anything and the woman says she told him everything herself. The woman tells her to be quiet and tells her husband that everything she said is a lie. He says she didn't even have to tell him, because since he was suspicious, he put cameras around the house and saw everything with his own eyes. She says it was a mistake because she loves him and asks for forgiveness. The friend says that now she will stay with her husband. The woman gets angry and curses her friend. The friend finds it funny and the man says, I don't know which of you two is worse, the cheating or the profiteering accomplice. He then tells the two to get out of there. The woman asks for a chance, but he says that now they will only talk before a lawyer, so they can sign the divorce. She is sorry, but it is in vain. He wants them both to get away from there. The two leave and the poor man is left alone. Outside, the woman comments that they got into trouble, but her friend says that at least she got some money. But it doesn't take long for him to show up and say that it belongs to him. He then goes back to his house and the two leave, empty-handed.